Kia ora, I'm Nathan Penny. Now in recent videos I've outlined our view that we expect as the Chinese economy reopens improving or lifting Chinese demand for, for our food exports will lift prices. Now on that front we've had some data recently and we can say that in meat markets it's definitely being the case. For example, both lamb and beef farm gate prices have turned a corner and they're both up 10 cents per kilo since January and that's at a time of the year when those prices are normally falling. In addition, we've seen prices for mutton and lamb flaps surge. Um, they're up 30 cents per kilo and $1.70 per kilo respectively since the start of the year. Now overall that, that gives us confidence that the Chinese demand is having an impact and on that basis we expect Farmgate beef prices to lift back over $6 per kilo over coming months and similarly for lamb, uh, Farmgate lamb prices to lift back over $7 per kilo. Meanwhile in dairy markets the evidence is less clear. We have seen butter prices lift since the start of the year as Chinese consumers make make more use of their newly found freedoms and head back out to restaurants, cafes and bakeries and they are places where butter is used in large quantities. At the same time though we have seen prices of other key products like skim milk powder for example actually fall since the start of the year. Now we had been expecting dairy, global dairy prices to have lifted by now. And given we're nearing the end of the season, that does introduce some downside risks to our, to our milk price forecast for this season of $8.75 per kilo. Now looking ahead to next season, we still have some time up our sleeves and so we are still confident that improving Chinese demand will flow through into global dairy prices and on that basis we're sticking with our bullish view for a, an, a $10 per kilo uh, milk price for next season. Talk to you next time. Ka kite ano.